these companies, if you make a soda or product that's yellow, you, you teeter on that line of having to make sure it's not a piss yellow. Yeah. Hi, hello, and welcome to today's video. My name is Courtney. And I'm Alex. And if this is the first video that you are joining us for, hi, hello, welcome. If not, welcome back. And welcome back to the second video in a row that is going to be a soda taste testing. So last week we did Poppy's prebiotic sodas. Today we are going to be doing Sheets sodas, which real quick, if you are not familiar, this is not sponsored by the way. We are doing this purely because we walked into a Sheets one night and noticed that they had a whole range of their own soda that they make. And we're like, that would be super fun for taste testing. So that is why we were There's here. a lot of them. So. But we figured we'd share at least a little info mm -hmm. about who they are it's a gas station that does like way more than just like convenient snacks and stuff they've got like the whole hot food section that you can get all sorts of, like appetizers and wraps and I, I honestly don't know all of what they do like milkshakes and stuff like that i got some mozzarella sticks from there earlier today yes they, they were, were wonderful wow. they were wonderful so. um but they're located in maryland north carolina ohio pennsylvania which is where they originated Virginia and West Virginia. Um, so we thought this would be very fun to taste test their line that they call pop Which I think is very funny because um, it is very regionally dependent on what you call Soda typically in this region of the United States. Most people here call it pop I actually call it soda because my roommate in college she drank it every single day and she called it soda, and because she drank it so much and talked about it so much, it just kind of became habit for me. Yeah, I always called it soda. To do. Yeah. But many people in the area that we live call it pop, and it quite literally, like, their branding of the soda, which I find very interesting. Um, and it's really cute. I think the packaging and branding on all of these is super cute. Yeah, they're really fun looking, and it's like a big mouth. Like a... Yes. So... Um, and with that being said, we do also have a bunch more like drink taste testings mm -hmm. coming up in the next few months, especially as it starts to get warmer. We will do hard seltzers. So if you have ones that you would like us to do, we did a bunch last year. We're going to do some this year. We already bought one. I don't remember. I don't remember which one it is. I don't remember what I got. Yeah. But we're going to do those again. Um, this summer, we're going to do different hard seltzers. So if you have requests of what you would like to see us taste test, leave those in the comments. Let's get into it. Okay, so we are going to start with grape. There's actually 12 of these, so we're going to try to move a little quickly. We're going to each taste test, give you our number score review, any little notes we might have, and move on. Mm -hmm. They're all fun pop art. Yeah, it's super cute pop art. Very standard grape soda. Like, that is just very it's almost grape soda. A little watery. A little bit, but... Me. Like, not as syrupy as I'm used to most sodas being. That's just a very standard, good grape soda. That's a 7 for me. Yeah, I guess I'll give it a 7. I just thought it was going to be more syrupy. Yeah, I can understand that. But I'm almost glad it's not. Yeah. Because, like, then it's, like, too... It doesn't want to be, like, medicine-like. Yeah, you don't want to be, like, right. too much. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, interesting start. We do have a couple of flavors that, like... We might have one that's like a mix of two, and then we have them like individually as well, so you'll notice that. But this one is the orange pineapple. This one's kind of cool. Oh, that smells so good. It tastes like Pez candy to me. It's got a very almost like juice feeling to it. Like it's it's not as carbonated as I was expecting, and so it reminds me of a bit of a juice. I really like mm. that. Yeah, I'm surprised because I'm not a huge, like, watermelon or pineapple guy. Not that this is watermelon, but, like, I'm also not a huge pineapple guy. So, like, this is good. I would also give this one. Honestly, I would give this one, like, an 8. I like this one. I really like it, and I'm realizing that I like it better than the last one, but I wouldn't, like, grab it. So, I'm actually going to switch the last one to a 6 and make this one a 7. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. You know what? I'm also going to do the same thing. You're right. That's actually, that's better. Because, like... As I like that one, it wouldn't be one that I would go to grab. Yeah. And now that you're saying that, like, my initial reaction was like, yeah, like, 
but it's out of 10. So, like, a 6 is still pretty good. Yeah. So, like, The Great Bits a 6. This is definitely a 7 because it's still really good, but, like, I, I have a feeling there's some more. It's not, yeah, it's, I don't, we don't think it's going to be a favorite. Okay, next up is Black Cherry. I like that they're a mix of normal flavored sodas and, like, interesting like a little bit yeah pineapple. yeah well i mean we got banana coming up like True. that's different. and um that's different. i think you have cotton candy over there i do i have yeah so all right some... did i say this was black cherry because it's black cherry black cherry i'm personally a big fan of like no. stewart's black cherry soda interesting see they're really good but to me they just slightly lack flavor in comparison to regular sodas that I've had so if like a regular cherry soda is an 8 for me that would be a 7 for me also can we just acknowledge the beautiful sunset that's been happening behind us this whole time it looks very nice um I feel like this is like what the flavor of that last week's episode when we did the the poppy mm -hmm. that um doc pop one I feel like this flavor matches better to that one. So that one should have been black cherry. Yes, a black as cherry. To Dr. Pepper. Yes, That's I think fair. that one matches with a like a black cherry with that like darker, more robust, rich cherry flavor yeah. than more of like an amaretto cherry. And I think that's what this was. Yeah. So like, I'm gonna give this one a six. This is not my favorite, but this one's okay. Now, we have root better. That's. That's really good, just standard Ooh, yeah. root beer. That's that's bomb. That's an eight out of ten for me. There's no no questions about that one. That's good. Same, I agree. That's yeah, that's a really good. That's root beer. really good. That's, that's a really good root beer. Yeah, you're looking for just like good root beer. You got sheets. This is. I mean, mm -hmm. I would grab this over A and W honestly. Um. So I don't know if it'll be next week's video. It might be the week after. I haven't decided yet. Timeline timeline wise, how I'm going to do this. But I'm going to be doing a solo taste testing video where I'm going to be doing a bunch of dirty soda taste testings. If you aren't familiar, dirty soda is when you take soda and you add coffee creamer to it. Um, one of the more popular ones is coconut creamer, but I think I might get a couple. And I'm going to have a bunch of these to see which make good dirty sodas. I'm going to get like a bunch of other ones. But yeah, if, if you're interested in something like that, definitely keep an eye out for that one. Okay, so um, I think this next one is going to be one of the most unique, interesting ones. It's, it's very bright. Banana. It is. It's like a neon yellow. <laughs> but you know what? These companies, if you make a soda or product that's yellow, you, you teeter on that line of having mm. to make sure it's not a piss yellow. Yeah. So like, good on them on that. Yeah. It's not piss yellow. No. But, but it's it almost like nuclear waste yellow. Yeah. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I'm hoping it tastes like a banana Laffy Taffy, but I'm like actually kind of confused. Oh god. I can like smell that like banana, that like Laffy Taffy banana flavor on it. Yeah. That's. That. Um, wow. It's a. It's really weird because it's not something like I would normally drink or go to, but it also really reminds me of something. It's like. Maybe banana Laffy Taffy. Mm hmm Like this? Because imagine it's got trying like this that like coca creamy. Yeah. It's got like a creamy flavor to it. Um I like this one. I mean I again I wouldn't like just go and be like, yeah, I'm getting that banana sheets drink. Like I'm not gonna go grab this one like right off the shelf. I mean we got this for this taste testing video. And like good on them for trying this one. Um It's it's odd. It it, it has good flavor, but it's odd. But, like, if you're someone who loves banana or banana Laffy Taffy, banana-flavored things, I think some people would really yeah, get a kick this definitely out of this. Yeah, this definitely would have its own little, like, niche place. I'm going to give it a there. six, but I see what it's I'm about. I'm also going to give it a six because it's, like, there's something good to it, but it's not, like, something I would grab, like, immediately off the shelf. Yeah. So, this one is called Citrus Drop. Um, I noticed this is the only one that the actual bottle itself is... A different color. The rest are all clear bottles. It's oh a, yeah. It's the only one that's a green bottle. Oh yeah. Interesting. It reminds me as if you mixed like Sprite and Mountain Dew together. Yeah, that's a really good way to describe it because it's more flavorful than Sprite or mm -hmm. Seven Up. Mm -hmm. But it's not as flavorful as Mountain Dew. That's actually an accurate. But it's got that like same coloration as Mountain Dew. Yeah. 
And so, like, I, I think that's what this I is going for. I think it's supposed to be going for Mountain Dew. I think there's, like, a Mountain Dew. It's a little Dew, more Mountain yeah. Dewy. Yeah, I like that. So this but one's good. But it also good. reminds me of 7 Up. Yeah, I'm going to go with 7 because I wouldn't personally drink Mountain Dew on the regular, but it's good. I'm going to give this one an 8. I like this one a lot. Nice. I like Mountain Dew, so. Okay, I'm super pumped for this one. I really hope that it's not too sweet because that is what I'm slightly worried for. But it is cotton candy. Yeah, sometimes, like, cotton candy flavored things can be very, like, sugary or, like, mm-hmm. super sweet. So, like, uh, this could teeter on the be- on like the edge of being like too much so i wish in general that these were slightly more carbonated because they're definitely more on like the lightly carbonated side of things yeah yeah they are cool color oh wow that's some good stuff it is definitely not too sweet it's just got like a nice level of cotton candy flavor i wouldn't like drink that all the time but it's not too... I thought it was going to be too syrupy, and it's not. You know what it reminds me of? When you were a kid, or, like, at the pool when you were younger, like, and they had those frozen popsicles, those, like, those like long frozen pops in the freezer where you could just get them for, like, 50 cents, dollar, whatever they are. Yeah. The blue one, when it melted down into just, like, the liquid at the end, and you, like, kids always mm-hmm. just wanted to drink that liquid, same color, same flavor to me. Um, those, you mean freeze pops, right? Yeah, I did an entire pops. taste freeze testing. Pops. I think it was last year. It might have even been the year before. That's what this reminds me An of. entire taste testing of like five or six different types of freeze pops. That was a, a lengthy video that gave me a stomach ache, but it was fun. Um, That's good yeah, though. I'm going to give this a, I'm going to give it a seven because I, again, I wouldn't grab it Same. to drink it, but it's a good flavor. Yeah. I feel like that seems to be the common thing is they're good flavors, but I wouldn't actually like drink a whole thing of these. Blue raspberry. Almost the same color. Yeah, there's actually... Slightly more darker. Three blue ones. Oh, yeah. I already know I'm going to love this. That's good. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a 9 out of 10 for me. That's right a, it's an 8 for me, but yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. That's a classic blue raspberry soda. That's fine. This is fire. That's so good. This is super fire. Okay, next up is one I'm personally very excited for because um, pineapple is my personal favorite food, so I'm hoping that I like the pineapple flavored soda. Oh, it smells fire. It's a nice, subtle flavor. It's not bad. I'm definitely, this is one I'm definitely really excited to try with coconut creamer in it. Yeah, I bet you, yeah, yeah. That probably would be like, you said like a pina colada s kind of thing. Yeah, that'd be good. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm still going to give it a seven. Nothing's really knocked my socks off quite yet. Like, it's good. It tastes nice. It's not bad. I also personally like things more carbonated, so that's probably part of my problem. That's fair. Um, but yeah, good flavor. I'm going to give it a six just because, like, I'm not a huge pineapple guy, but it does, like, it tastes good. Yeah. It's just not my, like personal thing orange soda see there's that classic that's yeah. orange soda smell there it is y'all are doing the classics where I cheat z, 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 cheat, that's z. a really good yeah I pers- I'm not a massive fan of orange soda I would not drink orange soda on a normal basis um that's good. But for what it is, it gets a seven. I think everything for me has gotten a seven today. I'm gonna give this one an eight. I'm a huge orange soda guy, so like this would be one I would reach for, and it tastes really good. If you I want that classic it. orange soda taste, it's right there for you. I think I've given every single one a seven or a six. Anyways, let's move on. Okay, so my personal final choice, save the best for last. What I'm hoping is going to be the best for last one is. Cherry vanilla. I have a feeling this one's gonna be good on the flavor profile. Hey, I hope so. <laughs> oh, she smells sexy. There it is. There it is. That's a nine for me. That's a nine for me. I don't get a ton of the vanilla flavor that it's going for. I think this one hits like cherry like so hard on the face, but like. Oh, I get the vanilla flavor. Um, I'm not getting a ton of the vanilla flavor. Huh. I like it. I'm going to give it a 7. It's good. But, like, I, I'm i missing a little bit. Of, for me, that's just a me thing. But, like, I'm missing the vanilla. So, like, I'm going to give it a 7. That's right. But I do like it. I do yeah. like this one. Cool color, too. 
I love the coloration of these. Like, they're all fun to look at. This one's my personal favorite one, I think, that I wanted to try. And I know that this is one that you really wanted to try, too. That was my, like, second choice for final. So, yeah. We did, like, a draft, basically. We did do. We did oh, do that. Cool. This one is Bomb Pop. Right after. Ooh. Yep. Yep. It doesn't taste like anything. Really? Well, I get straight up bomb pop off that. Like I, I think they like liquefied the bomb pop. I think that's the least flavorful, wow. least identifiable flavor of all of them. I really like that. I, I think that hits bomb pop like right on the nose. That's. If you handed this to me and said, guess what flavor this is, I don't even think I would have been able to give you a start. I would have been like... Wow. Like I, I picked, don't know. Like, I immediately picked up on, like, that, like, a little bit of, like, lemon flavor that, like, the the, the, the white in the Bomb Pop has and, like, the blue... I don't know. I, I taste Bomb Pop, but that's just me. Again, to each their own, you know? Not everybody has the same flavor profile. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not. That's a okay. That one gets like a five for me because it's not bad, but I just don't think it's very flavorful. I'm gonna give this one an eight. I like this one. I wish it did have more flavor to it, but I do really like it, and I think that they're going in the right direction. Anyways, so with that being said, um, what would you have chosen, or where, like, what would your choices have been? What flavors would you want to try? I'm who are you curious. drafting to your well, team? Yeah, who are you <laughs> drafting to your team? Who is your first pick? Um, we'd love to know. Um, but yeah, so that brings us to the end. We hope you enjoyed. We hope you'll stick around for a lot more fun stuff coming because we've got some very fun ideas for this year. And so without further ado, if you liked the video and would like to support us, if you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe, it simultaneously helps you do both and we'd super appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, we hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you again for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.